What's up guys? Today we're gonna do some back and ballies. Welcome back to another 10 Fitment video. So it's really a beautiful day here in Shanghai, China. We are entering the winter. So I'm really enjoying this uh, last few moments that we can be outside and we can have some sunshine. So today I, I want to cover the back in volley. And, and again, I will assume that you have seen our video on the volley's fundamentals. If you haven't, please check that out. And today I will actually go into the back and volleys with some more details and maybe give you some specific tips and tricks that can help you with your back and volley. So the very common mistake I see with many players at different levels is the racket head position on the volley. And that's usually kind of dropping as you're hitting the ball. You see like my wrist is breaking, the racket head is going down and then we're actually losing the strength on the grip and on the wrist because look if I have it here this is how I usually you know try to show my players and maybe they can understand from this if they hold the racket like this and now I push them here nobody can actually hold the racket you kind of lose the power right they always they always start screaming oh it hurts so and then I say okay try to grip the racket try to hold the racket like this with more firm grip and lock that, lock that angle here, and then let's see what happens now. And usually, now they have much more power here when I when I push the racket from this side. So uh, this this will be kind of one of the tips I want to give you today, guys. And that, that's going to be number one. It's actually the racket position in relation to our arm, and that's going to be, as I mentioned, with this angle. Again, if we kind of lost, we don't know how to find it. We can simply have it here and use our non-dominant arm to place it on the strings right here and this is exactly where where we want to start with our racket so we don't want to have it here too far or too close it's right about here where it's feel comfortable for us so this is where we can get that nice and strong grip and the feel on the volley number two for today will actually be related to this racket position that is the contact point that it's again the eye level as we talked about in a fundamentals video so if the ball is coming to me at this height right I don't want to just play like this so I would rather go there to the the eye where is the eye level so we can actually get that nice contact point here right if the ball is lower I want to get even here again we want to get that nice low position flexible knees and ideally if you have time we want to get in that the leg should come forward so we can get that more control. The number three tip for today will be the actual use of the upper body while we're hitting the volley. So unless the ball is extremely fast, then we just like block back. Otherwise we want to use that turn here and then play it from the right shoulder if we are right-handed. So another mistake is that how players play is trying to do like this, right? Again, breaking the wrist or using the elbow. So we want to lock everything and then play it from the shoulder here. Definitely to do that, we have to turn so we can actually have that from shoulder position and space that we can actually get that nice compact swing. The back arm, of course, if I'm playing there, should kind of counterbalance and move backwards here. Just to add, when we play from the shoulder, again, depending on our aim, if we want to play a short volley, it's going to be just a short motion. If we want to play long, deep, it's going to be still from the shoulder, but then we can get more extension. So again, it's going to look like this. As you notice, I'm getting low, getting that nice eye level contact and then extending. Last but not least, and in my opinion, one of the golden tips or golden advice for the volleys is actually when the ball is coming straight to us, what do we do? We want to use the back and volley every time. Even if it's coming more to the forehand side, it's much easier to do this than to try to 
to try to do that matrix, whatever it is. So, with the back and volley, remember this, we're covering everything up from here, far, all the way up to here. So you kind of want to think that back end is kind of covering more of the space when you're at the net. It's like a shield and you're kind of protecting more area with that back end. I hope guys that was useful and that it will help you to get better and improve your back end volley. If so, please let me know in the comments or if you have any other questions or suggestions regarding the volley play, especially the back end, please write it down in the comment section below. And as always, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep working hard on your volleys and the net play, get more aggressive, get more confidence there. And I will see you soon in our next videos. actually the solution for the for the ball that's coming straight at us very fast it will never be a forehand it will simply be just lifting our elbow up and getting that back in here that's why it's so important to get that racket in front so we can actually just simply react like this now I'm not able to actually demonstrate this today I don't have a partner here but I hope in some other videos I can I can try to do that, but uh, in general that will be hop and then the ball is just like tap. quite simple. And then again if the ball is fast we just need to hold the racket tight and then just block it back.